What's up guys and welcome to the channel. So it's 2021 and you want to be a vlogger. Well, maybe you're interesting enough to do that. Uh, I don't know that answer, but I am here to give you some insight on all the vlogging gear that you're going to need to get that channel rolling. So today we're going to be talking about everything the camera, to the audio, to the lighting, to the tripods, to the extras that you might need to get your videos done. Uh, we'll also talk about my favorite video editing software that is completely free, as well as a completely free source for music for your videos. Before we get going, my name is Zach and I make videos about photography, amateur videography, camera gear, and vlogs. So starting up first, let's talk about the camera. The camera is the most essential part of your vlog because without it, you don't have a video. So I got three cameras I wanna talk to you about today and uh, I don't really wanna focus on the brands, uh, more so just the type of camera that it is. So starting out with the first one, which in my opinion is the most convenient, that's gonna be your cell phone. So you're probably watching this video on a cell phone right now. You have everything in your hands right now to make an amazing vlog. What I love about the phones is they are the by far the most convenient of the cameras we're gonna talk about today. You can shoot the video, edit the video, and post the video all from the same device that fits into your front pocket. The one thing I don't love about vlogging on a phone, I believe they are the worst in terms of audio quality. That brings me to my next camera. The next camera we're talking about is this guy. This is a GoPro Hero 8 Black, and I love my GoPro. This is, I mean, it's super small, it's super convenient. This thing is virtually indestructible, it's waterproof, and uh, there are just so many accessories you can get for this thing to be able to mount it on just about anything. The one thing that impressed me most about the GoPro recently was the quality of audio that I got from it. Uh, if you check out this video up above, I shot that entire video on this GoPro Hero 8 and the audio was great. It was I shot it in 4K at 24 frames per second, had great audio, was able to do some B-roll with it, and I mean, this is all it was. It was barely anything to take with me. So the GoPro is yeah, I, I love going out and just vlogging with this because it's so easy. Bonus tip, if you have one of these, you probably also have a cell phone, so that would give you two cameras to give you multiple angles. That could be a really cool thing. Uh, the next type of camera I wanna talk about is going to be, well, just a traditional camera. Now, don't get me wrong, this is definitely not my vlogging camera. That is the Nikon Z50 that I'm filming this video with. But standing in for that, for the purpose of this uh, demonstration, is the Nikon D7100 with a Tamron 10 to 24 millimeter wide angle lens. The camera, the traditional camera, the DSLR, the mirrorless. Uh, in my opinion, this is going to give you the best quality video. You're gonna have more options in terms of frame rates and shutter speeds and apertures with different types of lenses. It's also got uh, really nice connectivity for things like microphones, um, hot shoe mounts for lights, as well as a ton of storage with removable SD or XQD card slots. That being said, it is by far the most inconvenient of the cameras that I've talked about today uh, when it comes to filming on a vlog. What you have to do is think about what's more important. Do I want the highest quality video possible with a big camera or a mirrorless camera and a big wide angle lens? Or is convenience more important to you? All right, so that covers the different types of cameras that you might use to vlog. Let's move into what I think is the most important first upgrade you can make, and that is going to be some sort of audio solution to give you better sound on your videos. Uh, first up, let's talk about this. This is the Power DY's Lavalier Microphone. It was about a $40 investment, and I've really enjoyed using it over the past couple months. Uh, number one, it is really inexpensive. Number two, I can use it on my camera or on my phone. Um, and number three, it gives you a really nice isolated sound for your videos. So the lavalier microphones, they plug into your camera or your phone, and you clip them on your shirt or lapel or something like that. What I love about these is they do a good job of picking up only the sound that's happening right around the mic and cutting down on some of the outside sounds that you might be getting from uh, the environment. Things like the laundry going in the other room or cars driving by or whatever, really. Next up is the Rode Video Micro. This is a very small, very convenient shotgun mic that goes on top of your phone or on top of your camera. 
and it gives you a much better audio quality than you're gonna get out of the microphones that are built into your phone, your camera, whatever. Now, the smaller shotgun mics like this, it's very convenient, but they, unlike the lavalier microphones, they don't give you as good of a sound isolation for someone's voice. Doesn't mean it doesn't sound great though. Um, what you do get with this though, is more noise from the outside world coming in, which may or may not be a good or a bad thing. It just depends on the type of content that you're trying to make. Uh, some of the sound coming in from the outside might really help you better tell your story. And the last mic that you might consider is something like this. This is actually what I'm using right now for this video. This is the Ceramonic Blink 500 Pro. And what this is, this is actually a wireless audio setup. So I've got a receiver on my camera and I've got a transmitter on my pocket down here. And attached to that transmitter is my lavalier microphone. Uh, what I really like about this, it just, it takes the frustration of having to deal with cables out of the mix. So we've got a camera, we've got our audio figured out. Let's talk about lighting. So lighting, you can definitely use available light and create amazing videos, especially if you've trained your eye to see what good light looks like. A lot of folks will make videos using only window light coming in through a, a diffuse sort of curtain or something like that, and it looks amazing. Knowing that you can use natural light to make great videos, I also like to have some sort of artificial light source available to me when I'm out making videos. So I've got a couple options I wanna show you today. Uh, the first is the Aperture ALM9. This is a small LED light that is a, really not that much bigger than a credit card, but it is super bright, super powerful, and super convenient. You can stick this thing just about anywhere and help better control the light of your scene. You could even throw this on top of your camera to give yourself a little bit of light in the face if it's uh, dark outside and uh, be able to film at night, which is awesome. Uh, this guy, about 50 bucks. A slightly bigger version that's similar to that. This is the ESDDI 380 PLV, I believe. A uh, little bit bigger, same concept, LED light. What I like about this one is you can actually change the color temperature between warm and cool. So you can match different types of scenes with this and uh, get different effects, use it as a background light to match something like an incandescent bulb, just like I'm doing back there with the desk lamp. The last type of light I wanna talk about is, well, this might not apply to you if you wanna be a run and gun style vlogger, uh, but if you're looking for more of a studio setup like I've got here, I've actually uh, been using over the past couple months the Godox uh, SL60 watt. That's my background light right now, throwing the blue up on the back wall there. And I also have the Godox VL150 up here as my key light. These definitely aren't a necessity for starting a vlog, uh, but if you're looking to have more of a studio-like setup for some of your videos, like I'm making right now, these are instrumental in being able to make your scene look awesome. Next up is the tripod. So if you're getting started as a vlogger, I got two that I recommend. Uh, number one is the Joby Gorillapod. This specifically is the 3K kit, which comes with the tripod, as well as a phone mount adapter. So this is one of the most versatile pieces of gear that I own. The Joby allows you to, it's got these flexible bendy legs that basically let you put this thing wherever you need it. I will caution that these legs tend to wear out over a while, so if you end up loving it, be prepared to buy two or three of these over the next couple years. The next tripod, you saw this earlier, this is the Manfrotto Pixie, uh, about $30 investment. I think the thing I like about this most is it's easy to pick up, grab, and go, and it's gonna do the job. Uh, the thing about this one is it's definitely not as flexible or versatile as the Gorillapod, but it's really nice to take out and it doesn't take up a lot of room in your bag. Next up, let's talk about something that I've found. It's not really camera gear related, uh, but it is crucial for making videos, especially if you wanna go out and shoot for a full day. And that's gonna be some sort of extra battery source. Shooting video on your phone uses a ton of battery. And if you're out shooting for a full day with a mirrorless camera, that thing is probably gonna die too. So with me on my vlog days, I always have some sort of a USB battery charger with me. Uh, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour from Mophie. And if I'm shooting on my camera, I always have one to two extra batteries to give me those precious extra hours of making content while I'm out and about. There is, and I promise you, you'll make this mistake one day and you'll be like, ah, that's that guy, he said something about this. You're gonna go out one day, you're gonna have a whole day's shooting planned and 
in the middle of it, your camera is gonna die, your phone's gonna die, you're not gonna have a charger, you're not gonna have an extra battery, and your vlog is not gonna go on from that point until you can get to an outlet and get that thing charged up. Do yourself a favor, pick up an extra battery or two for your camera or an extra big battery pack to take with you if you're shooting on your phone. All right, so at this point, you put it all together. You've got your camera, audio, lighting, tripod, extra batteries. You're out in the field, you're shooting your B-roll, you got your A-roll. The next thing you need for videos in 2021 is gonna be some sort of editing software. So my preferred editing software, hands down, is got to be DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is completely free. You can go to Blackmagic's website and download it for free on Windows or Mac right now, and you have every everything that you need to cut, edit, edit color, edit the audio, put together some music in there, splice up your B-roll, whatever you need to do, you can do it in DaVinci Resolve and it is 100% free. Now, if you wanna edit on your mobile device, like an iPad or your phone, absolutely possible. You can do that with something like Adobe Rush or Filmora or PowerDirector. There's a ton of software out there that costs nothing to get uh, to help you create videos. So now you've got your video all cut up, it's looking great. Last thing you need to do is add some audio and I tell you what, there is a completely free solution for a ton of audio for your videos and that is gonna be the YouTube Audio Library. The YouTube Audio Library has hundreds of audio tracks that you can download completely for free to use in all of your videos. Well guys, that wraps up everything that I think you need to get start vlogging. Now you don't need all of this, camera, audio, lighting, tripod. That's really it. You don't need to buy all this stuff. Maybe just one from each category. If you don't want to buy any of this stuff, you probably have everything you need to vlog sitting in your pocket right now. So guys, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Um, I'm planning on making part two, three, and four of the vlogging series in which I'm going to be covering the camera settings for shooting a vlog, uh, the actual act of going out and shooting a vlog and how to plan that shoot as well as a video on in a crash course in editing a vlog using DaVinci Resolve, that free software I talked about earlier. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.